Hey everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest, and I love, love, love bringing these videos to you. So we all know the biggest part of trying to make money in the market is knowing when to get out of a stock. And there's a myriad of different stops out there to help you to get out of a stock, depending on how aggressive or conservative or prudent you are. But at VectorVest, we have a specific stock that's germane only to us called the Profit Locker Pro. Just by its name, it's designed to help you to locate and lock in as much profit as you can on a stock, no matter what stock it is. See, the Profit Locker Pro works off of the volatility of each stock individually and puts other things into play in regards to knowing when to trigger the stop and when to get you out. It's actually a combination of a couple of different stops that we have here in one, in one tool called the Profit Locker Pro. All right, with all of that, let's get into it. So I decided to try to look at a way of really showing you and digging into the tool and this is what I came up with. So from this perspective, here is a video or stocks from a video that we did at the beginning of the year on January 3rd. Stocks for 2023. Overall, folks, these stocks have done very well. There was a lot of insight and a lot of research put into this video to find you a good category of stocks for you guys to keep your eyes on for the possibility of making money for the year 2023. As you can see here, the stocks consisted of a nine stock basket with App Harvest, which happened to have been the best stock in that list. I love SAC. Blink. Blink is back on the move again. Riot because of cryptocurrency. Zscaler, EXAS, RIG, shipping is hot and heavy. Lithium is still hot and heavy in SLDP. Now, if I go back to January 3rd of 2023, let's see what they look like. Just do a simple quick test. Eight out of the nine stocks are up with Riot, RIG, App Harvest. App Harvest has come off of its highs, but still up 40% so far up until today. 223. Only one stock is down and that's Blink down a little less than 10%. Overall up 34.83%. Now when I did a follow up on this video, these stocks were up in excess of 50%. It's only up 34% now. So what does that mean? That means you needed some semblance of some kind of stops to put into place so that you can maximize your, your ability to get as much money on these trades as possible. Let's see what we could have done better. Now, yes, now this is going back in time to see what we could have done better, but it doesn't take away from the story that these stocks were shown on January 3rd. They're doing very well still overall. The market has pulled back a little bit and always understand the market's direction affects about 80% of the stocks that are in the market, no matter how good they are. So I went to another tool that you'll find in the VectorVest system called the back tester. From the back tester, I did a back test of these stocks, Stock Picks 2023, no market timing. Now, that's another video for another time to see if we can make this even better from a market timing perspective. But this was on the basis of a buy and hold buying on January 3rd and holding throughout the year to see how well these stocks have done. Now, with that being said, we have to take into effect when the market goes down. What can we do to capitalize on our ability to make money in those stocks? And that's where using stops come in. So in this uh, January 3rd to right now or to 22, that was yesterday, um, on a $100,000 portfolio up $29,000 in less than two months, folks, that's not half bad. 88% of the stocks were winning trades, uh, gain 29%, annualized rate of return 216%, drawdown 23%. Hmm. From the standpoint of the, even me trying to buy and hold, I still wanna minimize my drawdown, the biggest pullback in my portfolio. So what did I do? I started to use some, a lot of traditional stops that are out there. My next test looks at a trailing stop of 20%. Did a little better, 32%, 235% uh, annualized, drawdown better, 17.33%. So remember, 
This one, stock picks, no stops. In the now when we start to apply some stops, we can do a little better. All right. If I look at this, this is still holding out of the nine stocks, six stocks. Remember, this is buy and hold, not replace. Still holding six of the nine stocks, not half bad and up 32%. Next one, I tried a 30-10. I had a 30% gain, 10% loss. Very close, about 31%. Drawdown even better. 15.75%. What you're looking at is the equity curve from the date of beginning of January 3rd all the way up until now, not half bad, 15% drawdown. Now, let's start talking about Profit Locker Pro. I did a Profit Locker Pro, and we're going to take a look at that. Profit Locker Pro Prudent. All right, 33%, 243 annualized, and it's got even a smaller drawdown. Let's talk about what the Profit Locker Pro does. Everybody knows what a trailing stop does. It trails from the highest point that the stock has hit 20% and gets you out. 30-10 means if the stock goes up 30%, you get out. But if it goes down 10%, you get out as well. The problem is that I have with a uh, gain loss stop. It only gets you out of one of two points, either at the gain or at the loss, but nothing in the middle. All right, and we need to have some semblance of a stop that gets us out and gives us some leeway, some cushion to get out as well. Let's go look at Profit Locker Pro Prudent. I'm gonna click on edit. Now from the edit, I'm going to look at what my system looks like. I'm going to uh, customize the trading system. From here, remember, we're not using any market timing. And again, I may do a follow-up video utilizing these same stocks, but from a market timing perspective. Uh, automation rules long, we're gonna buy long. And here's my stock list 2023. I had to create a search for it. Now, my stop criteria is the Profit Locker Pro. And once you select that, but let me back up a little bit. Let me click on that. There's a lot of different stops that we have within the VectorVest software to help you to maximize profits. Uh, one that I do like is the prior day's low. Seeing if a stock goes lower than the prior day's low might be a good way to lock in profits. Prior day's close, a ratchet stops with ratchets up, a trading stop, and of course a trailing average true range stop as well. So we're gonna go click stay on the profit locker pearl. And we've used variation prudent. If I click under variation, there's several different variations. Prudent, for those people who are who want to make money but don't want to assume a lot of risk. Those are the people that like the best of both worlds. Prudent Enhance, we'll take a look at that in a second. Conservative, if you're speculative, aggressive, or an enhancement on aggressive as well. So let's stay with the Prudent. And let's now, and it tells you, Prudent Profit Locker Pro stop is consistently high performing stop for longer term holdings. It begins with a 15% trailing until you reach profitability. At that point, the stop loosens up to a 26% gain, then tightens from there to your profit target of 50%. Now, this is what makes this unique. What other stops are out there that you don't have to calculate to get you these levels of getting out? And that's why it's us in its in 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 it's a unique stop that nobody else has but i'm going to click on customize now here's our target 50 percent gain 15 percent loss all right from the onset there's a factor once we get and here's our line here's the stock's price moving up and here's the stop and how it adjusts to the stock as we get to profitability now the greed here is 50 percent once we get 50% of our profitability, notice out now the stop starts to close in, close in, close in. Locking in profits. That's the profit locker. As the stock's price goes up, the stop gets closer to the stock's price. So if it falls back down, we get out here instead of getting out all the way down here. So the greed factor is once we get to 50% of the greed, look at this. Once we get to 50% of the greed, it starts closing in. The end trail, once we get to our profit target, the stop automatically becomes a 1% trail. So we're already in the good and we're not giving back more than 1%. The transition is also in there as well. And then we're going to simulate intraday stops. And when you click on that, what does that mean? When this option is selected, it will use the high low prices for each day when determining if an exit threshold has been reached for a given stock. If 
This option is not selected. It will use the end of day pricing for each day. I need you to understand that when we're using intraday stops, we actually have intraday data for five days. After that, it will automatically base itself off of end of day, but using the high and low for each day to determine whether the stop is met. Only five days of intraday data. I think that was important. So based upon these characteristics, all right, the profit target 50, the 15 stop, the greed 50%, end trail, and so on, we finished out with a 33% gain, right? 64% of the stocks were winners, 14.6. We even got better in the drawdown. Out of the nine stocks, it's still holding eight of the stocks. Not half bad. Even the stops that are, even the stocks that are uh, down, they haven't met the stop threshold, so we're still holding them even until today. All right, let's go to Profit Locker Pro Aggressive. 36% even better. Uh, the drawdown even better. Wow, let's take a look at it. Let's go edit again. Let's go to customize. Let's go look at the Profit Locker Pro Aggressive. Let's click on Customize. Now, different stop. 28% gain, 7% loss. Greed factor still 50%. 50% as the stock is moving up before the stop starts tightening in, the end trail. So, based upon this, all right, a little quicker in taking the profits. Um, Let's click on finish. It's holding six out of the eight stock, uh, six out of the nine stocks. So we're taking the profits quicker. We're getting a better gain loss percentage and we have a lower drawdown. Man, I'm liking it even better. Let's talk about uh, aggressive enhance. Not as good, uh, not as good as far as the winners. What is the difference between the aggressive and the aggressive enhanced? Let's click on edit again and Aggressive enhanced, uh, customized, still 28.7. Ah, it's the greed factor. So instead, notice that now how the stop is closer to the stock as opposed to the 50% greed, it starts popping in faster, which means that from a greed perspective, I'm not letting the stock get away from me, you know, move up 50% as far as the calculations. I'm getting in a little quicker. As I get in a little quicker, it'll get me out of stocks a little quicker as well. While instead of keep going back and forth, let's go look at what the conservative stop looks like. Conservative looks like 100% target, but a 15% uh, loss. These are stocks long-term that I'm just going to let ride. All right, but if they go against me, 15% after the greed factor of 50, notice how the 50% greed factor, how far apart the stop is from the stock. Remember when we just looked at the closer greed, it moved closer to the stock's price to calculate to get me out a little faster. All right, let's go look at um, aggressive enhanced. All right, so still 28.7 greed, and there it is, it's the greed factor. Let's go to prudent enhanced. Uh, and it's probably the greed factor again. Instead of 50%, it's 40%. So different calculations based upon what you want to look at, but the calculations are already done for you. You do not need to monitor and watch this on a day over day basis. And now as I click here, right, let's click on finish. Uh, let's click on cancel. Notice that it will give you an update of what's going on. So right now, this prudent enhance, a prudent, uh, uh, sorry, aggressive enhance, is holding six stocks, but three pending orders. Because this is now working off of end of day, at the end of day today, it's going to tell you to sell these three stocks. So after today, it will only be holding three stocks, but still up 30% with a drawdown of 14.13. So the whole idea here, folks, is that the Profit Locker Pro is designed to do all of the calculations based upon how you invest in the market to help you to get out at the right times. Nobody else has it, and that's what it's all about. So let's go back to the viewers tab. Let's say we stream this. All right, here's the stocks that are, this is today. These are the stocks, and let's say, well, you know, I like that uh, rig is up so much, can I still own it? Let's do this. Let's right click on the stock. 
Let's go down to view the Profit Locker Pro graph. Now, the best Profit Locker Pro that we had was aggressive. So let's select the stop, go down to aggressive. All right, and click on OK. There's a 28.7 degree, the whole nine yard <coughs> in here for you, excuse me. Click on OK. Notice that as your stock's price goes up, and this is intraday. Now I can remember, I forgot five days of intraday data. Intraday, I can watch this stock if I own it now to see when to get out of it. Let's change this and put this onto a one month graph. Let's put this onto a one month graph, go back, set this back up again, aggressive, okay, one month graph, and there it is. Now technically, Technically, we probably wouldn't still be in this stock based off of the last month. Why? Because the stock's price did fall below that stop price. It's indicated right here. As we put in that aggressive 28.7, it automatically plots it on my graph for me so that I can see that. So um, let's graph them all. Let's do that. Let's graph them all. I didn't want to do it that way. Let's go highlight them all. Look at the Profit Locker Pro graph on all. That's what I wanted to do. And put this on to aggressive. I got to probably change it again once I move it to a one month graph. There we go, one month graph. One last time. So let's say if you decide you want to get into it now. Rig, I wouldn't get into it now. Um, look at that though, lithium. Still, and let's go back to one three. Let's go back to one three. Dateline one four. There's one three. Right now, we're still in the stock. It hasn't broken down below the Profit Locker Pro. Love hasn't broken down below the Profit Locker Pro. App Harvest, though, did. And even when it did, closing price on one three was 70 cents. When it broke down below, the Profit Locker Pro was at $1.32, almost 100% gain. Man, I love that. Let's go down. Uh, SLDP did well until it got us out uh, below the Profit Locker Pro. Still price is higher than when we got in on January 3rd. Uh, Zscaler, man, still rock and rolling, still above the Profit Locker Pro. Uh, Riot, still above the Profit Locker Pro. Blink below the, the profit uh, profit locker pro big drop down. That one would have probably turned into a loss. Uh, XS, we're still in it, and that's it in a nutshell, folks. So profit locker pro is a stop that you'll only find in the VectorVest software. Profit Locker Pro will do the calculations based upon how you invest in the market to give those stocks either more or less room to get out. Profit Locker Pro is designed to help you to lock in as much profits as you possibly can on the stock. So that's it in a nutshell. Folks, this video is over. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Profit Locker Pro and its ability to help you lock in profits. Until the next time, folks. See ya. Yeah.